So in this next module, I'm just going to give a quick overview of paper number two. If you did paper number one, it's very similar, so I'll just give you a few tips about the topics that are available to you for this paper. So uh, this paper is going to be due next Sunday, uh, Sunday night, so again, you need to get it in on time, so make sure you leave yourself a little bit of time in case there are any glitches in the, pr in the submission process. Don't wait till the last hour to submit the paper, please. Uh, if you don't submit it, you won't be able to participate. If you don't submit it on time, you won't be able to participate in the uh, peer review. So the topics available to you, you can write an introduction section. So if you're working on an original manuscript right now, where you've got data and you're ready to uh, write parts of that manuscript, or maybe you've already written some parts of the manuscript, you could write an introduction section. Or if you've got some published work, your own published work, you could rewrite an introduction section of a paper that you uh, wrote before. Now that you've learned a number of skills in this class, you'd have an opportunity to practice those skills and make your introduction clearer and more concise and easier to read. Yeah, if you don't have anything published yet, you could also take an introduction section from something in the published literature that's not your own work and rewrite that using all the skills that you've learned in this class. Uh, really give it a good reworking and of course make sure you cite it. Uh, you can also write a letter to the editor of um, a, a journal, so uh, some journal in your field, if there's a recent paper that was of interest that you want to respond to, write, you could write a letter to the editor. Um, you can also write a letter to the editor of uh, a newspaper or magazine uh, in response to a recent science related uh, article in, in either a newspaper or magazine. So those are the topic choices. Again, it's a little bit flexible if you want to be a little creative within that. Uh, you can see this is a little bit more of a scientific paper than the first paper, but other than that it's a little flexible if you want to kind of uh, deviate slightly from one of those topics, that's fine. Uh, again, same as uh, with the last assignment, um, after you turn in a paper, the following Sunday, uh, what we'll be do is that you will assess five other students' works. You will be assessing them in the exact same as before on clarity and concision, language and style, and focus and organization, and you'll pr be providing them with an edited copy. Uh, if you uh, didn't participate in the first paper, I'll refer you to module 4.7 in week four for more instructions on how to do the peer assessment and editing. So have fun with the paper. The preceding program is copyrighted by the Board of Trustees of the Leland Stanford Junior University. Please visit us at med.stanford.edu.